And the Tigers fans are proud of you too, Tram. The Tigers White Sox did get underway after a slight delay due to the ceremony. One of the top prospects in baseball got the start for the White Sox, and he was impressive. Michael Kopik strikes out Nick Castellanos there on three pitches, game scoreless after one. Top of the third inning, former Tiger, obviously Il Garcia, comes back to haunt his old club. He lines that one to center. Two runs come in to score. White Sox take the lead. Then next batter is Daniel Polka. And uh, yeah, you can forget about this one. He hammers this one to right field just inside the foul pole. That's his 19th of the season. Garcia also comes in to score, and the Sox were up by four. Tigers were not shut out in this one. Victor Martinez doubled home Nick Castellanos here in the sixth inning, and then Ronnie Rodriguez also homered in the ninth. But it wasn't nearly enough for Detroit. The Tigers fall in this one by a final score of 7-2. Zim wasn't great. He was hanging in there, but you know he gave up some runs early, had a couple of bad innings, and got a couple of balls up, and they got him. Uh, you know he was the ball was coming out of his hand fine. Um, this guy's just a really aggressive hitters, and when you're around the zone a lot, you know they put some swings on him, and you know end up scoring what four runs in one inning, which was a big inning.